Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Notando and I make videos on construction, lifestyle and travel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. Please do not forget to like the video. So on today's video, we are going to talk about how being a QS has actually altered my personality. This is a question, this is one of the questions that um, I was asked on Instagram and I decided to make it a video because there's a lot of ways. So let's get right into it. Number one, I am a bit more structured. So I will structure my days that are not work related. Just like I have to be work at a certain time or have a deadline for a certain time. I'm also like that with my own personal life. Like on a Saturday, I'll have a to-do list. I'm like, okay, park run, after park run, breakfast, after breakfast, laundry, after this, 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 this. I'm a bit more structured in my own personal life, which is a good thing. But I think you can get this from any profession. I mean, there's deadlines, there is, um, time to get to work, time to leave work, unless you're a remote worker, but time to be online, time to be offline. So I am a bit more structured when it comes to that. Number two is that I am, I do not see buildings the same. But this started happening from the moment I started studying construction or well, the course. So when I walk into a mall, I'm already like, I look at the ceiling, I look at the windows. It's not just, oh, mm, it's a nice building. I'm just like, hmm, what material is that? Hmm. They chose to use metal skirting. I wonder why. Oh, it makes sense because people kick, 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 kick here and there. So I break down a building when I look at it. It's not just like, oh, that's pretty. And I also wonder, mm, I wonder how many coats of paint. It's kind of weird, but like, yeah, sometimes I do. I knock on walls like, what is this? Is this drywall? This must be, oh, it's drywall because it's on, you know, you look at buildings in a very, very technical way. That's one way that it's changed my personality, I think. Um, number three is that I'm a bit more time conscious now so I know that time is money when somebody's late that costs money on a project um, so I see value in time and before my friends come at me and are like well, then why are you always late I learned that I've got something called time blindness and this means I cannot visualize or perceive how long tasks or things or journeys should take so I will leave at 10 to 11 when we're supposed to meet at 11 and then the journey actually takes 25 minutes because in my mind I can drive faster than that and I will make like it's unrealistic even right now like when my boss asked me for something and he's like oh how long do you think you're gonna take like that's the worst question you can ask me I don't know like I think five minutes I mean, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm done, that I can do, but to, for, to give you a time frame, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, like, I can't see it. It's like, it's blurred, I can't. And you know what I like now when I'm traveling, Fly Safe has this thing where it actually breaks down for you. Like, okay, leave house at thingy, get to airport at this time, check in your bag at this time, and you'll be boarding at this time. That is so helpful. Also, like having to calculate back when I should leave for us to leave at that time. I just, yeah. So I need to do that for myself. Like when I have, let's say, an appointment. But I've, I've started. I now add anything that I need to do. Like anything. It could be like meeting a friend for lunch. I add it to my calendar and I ask it to tell me when it's time to leave. And I need to be ready to leave the house by then. But yeah. I do see value in time though. Even though I struggle to see or perceive time I don't know if that makes sense but yeah I see a lot of value in time um, and I try to respect other people's time as much as possible and I know the repercussions of not being on time you can literally lose the biggest deal of your life you can you know it can change the course of your life like being on time could have been like okay you were the first one here some people are late so you get the job at a group interview you never know so I do know that time has a big impact on your life I really value time and then the other thing that has changed my personality is how I s buy clothes or stuff in general um, something that's supposed to make me look good or whatever I will calculate like let's say a cost per wear for a jacket 
Like, is it worth it? Should I buy a 3,000 rand jacket? What is the value that I'm gonna get? How many times am I gonna wear it? Then I'll calculate. Sometimes I'll even calculate while every time I wear it. And I'm just like, you see, you're getting value for money. Good for you, because you are using what you bought. And every time you wear it, it costs less and less and less. I don't know how to explain it, but I literally calculate cost per wear. Which kind of sucks because it's like I'm not enjoying the fact that, you know, I can buy this or I can afford it, whatever. But like that's how uh, being a curious has changed how my personality in a way. I pay attention to detail in random stuff. Like when I book an Airbnb, I will go through each and every review. I will compare to the worst review. And I feel like this comes from um, doing tenders. Like if you're supposed to choose a contractor to work on a job right you need to go through all the attended documents and see if there's any conditions written there that could throw everything off so they might be like the right price the right thing and then they're like okay we don't hire local labor and that's a condition that you need to meet now you hire them and then you're like no but we put it in there and now it's going to cost you more because you're asking us to let go of our own guys and get your guys and stuff like that so even with my own personal things like i will read through the most random stuff like terms and conditions <laughs> i will read um airbnb rating from even if they're like 400 i'll go through them i want to see the people who've had the worst experience and i also want to see the people who had the best experience just so i can prepare myself and my mind like if it goes really badly the sun is in my eye if it goes really badly like how bad can it go and am I willing to accept the bad that it can be? My personality is actually very much more reserved. Like, I think I'm a very goofy, quirky person, but when I'm at work, like, that is totally shut down. Like, anybody who meets me, who knows that I have a YouTube channel, they'll be like, oh my gosh, you're so quiet. Why are you so quiet? I just feel like the profession has made me so bland and boring. Maybe it's the environment, like, maybe it's how i started off like there was everyone's so serious because we work with money and quantities and accuracy and if you make a mistake no one can laugh people are not happy so i can't fully be like my f true self you know so i am so boring at work though my friends think i'm funny <laughs> so that's fine oh my gosh oh i think a lot before i do things i will think and overthink and think on top of thinking um, I'm very calculative. I'm still by nature a very impulsive person, but before I am impulsive, I will then think and compare and rate and um, compare and then and then I'll do. So that's one thing. It's really it goes against how I used to be, which is like let's just go, let's do it. I really overthink a lot a bit now has also like really humbled me because I feel like I can't really like relish or enjoy or beam in my wins because that one mistake might be waiting for you somewhere there um, that's one thing that I feel like I need to also work on and change um, when you do well you need to like be proud of yourself obviously and if you make a mistake you need to learn from it but you also need to forgive yourself so I've gotten to a point where it takes me so long I don't know if that's the profession though maybe that's just my personality it takes me so long to like be fine that I made a mistake today oh you know so yeah that's one thing that I personally need to work on but I can't fully say that that's what QSing has done to me yeah so these are all the things that I can think of. I don't know. Um, if you feel like your personality has changed since you started working or studying quantity surveying or construction, please do let me know in the comments and in what ways, actually. Um, I can't think of more, but I feel like there's more. What else? Yeah, but it's pretty much everything that I've mentioned in this video. Um, yeah, I hope you found it useful, entertaining, um, informative. And if you did, leave a like. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you later in another video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There's light in my face. Like, share, and subscribe. Mm. Also, how pretty are my nails? Look at